Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the longest continuous subarray with absolute difference less than or equal to limit problem from Lead Code, and the number for this is 1438. So in the given problem, we are given with an array of integers nums and an integer limit, and we have to return the size of the longest non-empty subarray such that the absolute difference between any two elements of the subarray is less than or equal to limit. So to find out we have to we can use a sliding window technique combined with two maybe a list or a DQ to keep a track of the minimum and the maximum element in the current window. So we'll be using two lists to keep the track of minimum and the maximum elements occurring in the subarrays. And how we are going to do this? Let's see through the approach, but before that let's uh, let's see an example first. So nums equal to 8 to 4 7 and limit is given 4 so we have to give the size maximum size of the <coughs> non empty non empty subarray such that the difference absolute difference difference between any two elements is less than 4 so let's say 8 alone so the difference is 0 less than ok max length equal to 1 here 8 and 2 so 8 minus 2 is 6 which is greater than limit so this is not possible so now when we encounter a case like 8 and 2 so we have to remove either 8 or 2 from this case because whenever 8 and 2 will occur together their difference will be 6 and the subarray becomes invalid according to the questions so in this when we encounter this cases we have to remove either of the element and similarly you can see the maximum length which we can get is of size 2 which is within the limits so let's see through an approach how we are going to do this so for this we are going to keep two uh, dqs for ma uh, maintaining the minimum and the maximum elements and uh, let's say we'll name it as increase to keep the track of minimum value and decrease to keep the track of maximum value and we are going to iterate through the array while maintaining a sliding window so first of all we have the input so initially what we do uh, we start with the right, left and right pointers and right pointer set to 0 and we we'll, we are going to increase the size of the window so firstly right is set to 0 that means the window becomes of a single element 0 and the first element is the element is 0 is 8 so we add 8 to both the dqs minimum and the maximum that is the increase and the decrease and after adding that the minimum and the maximum we are going to in subtract the last element of decrease from the last element of increase and we are going to check their absolute difference so we see the absolute difference is 0 that means the max length becomes 1 because this is a subarray of size 1 which is possible in the next step we are going to increase the right pointer to 1 it was 0 we do a plus 1 it becomes 1 and now the size of the window becomes 2 that is from 0 to 1 because left is still at 2, 0 and right is at 1 so the size of window becomes 2 now the element at the 1 index is 2 so we are going to add 2 to increase and decrease both and after adding that the increase and decrease becomes 2 8 and decrease becomes 8 2. so again we are going to do the same we are going to in decree uh, subtract the last element of decrease from last element of increase and we do so we get 6 and 6 is greater than the limit given to us so in this case we have to remove either 2 or either 8 so we remove 8 from the dq both the dqs and move left left counter to 1 because we have to reduce the size of the subarray or uh, I mean the sliding window so that's why we move the left to 1 now in the next step we are going to move right to 2 now again the maximum size is 2 because left is at 1 left is at 1 and right is at 2 so the element at 2th index is 4 so we again we add 4 to both increase and decrease then we check the last element of increase and last element of decrease we subtract it it is within the limits so the max le length of the subarray becomes 2 
this is a possible answer so yeah this we keep this as a part of the answer while we iterate in the next step we are again going to increase the counter right right pointer and the window size becomes 3 here in this case and the third element the element at third index was 7 we add 7 to both the increase and decrease array again we check the last element of increase last element of decrease the difference is 5 which is greater than limit so again we move left to 2 remove 2 from dqs and the difference is 3 and the next difference becomes 3 after we remove uh, 2 from the dqs the difference becomes 3 which is within the limits but still since we have moved left to 2 and right is at 3 the window size is still 2 so the max length is 2 and since we have reached the size the right side has reached the size of the array that's why we have to return the max length which is the answer and that is 2 so this is how we are going to uh, approach the problem but before that let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so let's start with the coding part so we have to take two lists let's say link list we are taking integer increase equal to new copy this paste this becomes degrees we need to store the max length we need a left pointer we are not defining the right pointer because we can iterate using a for loop for that for the right pointer so let's say this is our right pointer i should be less than nums dot length i plus plus and int n becomes uh, nums of i now we have to check while adding in increase and decrease so if increase dot size is greater than or equal to 0 then only we can check if n is smaller than increase dot we'll use uh, maybe get last function let's say because that, that gives the element at the last in the list and we have done this we have written this condition because we are going to extract an element from the list and if we do not write this this may throw a index out of bounds error so that's why so if we encounter an element which is less than the minimum element so far so we are going to remove that remove the last element and uh, we'll add the current element means the small element which we have got into the increase now similarly we are going to do for decrease but here we are going to add the maximum element instead of the minimum element so we'll check if n is greater than decrease so decrease dot get last and in this case decrease dot remove last we'll remove the last element add the new maximum element that is n now we have to check for the the operation what we were doing like subtracting the last element of both the list and checking if they were in the limit so decrease dot get last 
minus increase dot get last if it is within the limit that means if then again we have to check if uh, nums dot left equal to decrease dot get first so this needs to be checked first that the left pointer should not be the decrease dot get first if it is so then we have to remove decrease dot remove first we have to remove it and same thing we have to do for increase as well if nums dot left not left is equal equal to increase dot get first then we have to remove it from the increase as well and we'll do a left plus plus in this case and after this we can calculate the size of the window maximum window that was left plus i plus left minus i minus left plus one since we have taken uh, i as the right pointer left is the left pointer so we'll do right minus left plus one for the window size and max becomes mat dot max so the current max or the size whichever is maximum take that and after this return max let's try to run it for the sample test cases so some error some spelling mistakes here and there and then quick fixes so see here we have to check not the last but the first element Yeah, runs fine actually I have done the wrong sign here now let's run for the sam uh, hidden test cases as well so okay passes with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity so the time complexity for this solution is O of n because we are going to iterate it for the nums dot length and the space complexity is also O of n because we are using two dqs or list so yeah that is the time complexity now you can also check the c plus plus python javascript solution by going into the solutions panel and then check this solution this is my solution here you can find the intuition approach complexity step by step explanation the java code c plus plus python javascript and yes do remember to afford me so I hope you understood the logic. Do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.